Hi YouTube, uh, I'm going to do this video pretty quick because we've got this monstrous thunderstorm coming towards us. Uh, it's not a sunset, it uh, looks like a mother of a storm actually. And being English, I know full com that this is going to hit in about 20 minutes. So, I'm going to take you around the back and tighten this video halfway van tour. So, you've probably seen it before, but that's the boot. And boot's big. If I was leaving tomorrow for a three-week trip to England or anywhere, what would I put in all these boxes? So I'm happy that I've got the storage so I can fill it and I don't need, really need to worry about the weight because this van is rated at I think 1. 1,200 kilos or something and I'm really happy because this bad boy came finally first one was damaged it's going to be a a bitch to mount because it requires 39 centimeters by 39 centimeter hole and the only place that I can put this where I want it to go I've got about 40 millimetres, 40 centimetres flat space, so multi-tool cutting the hole out because you can't drill holes for your jigsaw. Yeah, so I'm going to have to get my head around that one. Won't be an unboxing video, one-handed because there's thousands. It's got a fly screen and that's it cost 78 euro with all the screws and yeah the glue stuff that comes with it right now the second wheel arse is finished and I know it looks a bit quirky with that plank of wood sitting in there uh, and this little tip be flexible because I'd set my heart on putting these drawers in because I made them I think last year in September or October or December or somewhere uh, routing them all out so they were really light check the video out if you subscribe to my channel so but I want them in there, so this is just a dummy, it's not a draw. <laughs> it's just sitting there looking nice. Uh, it's not finished properly really. The seats aren't from uh, finished because I've got a work colleague. She's going to do the seat cushions for me. Get all them sorted out. But uh, be flexible because what I've done, it wouldn't have been feasible to put drawer runners in here because you just lose so much space. So what I've done, like most people do, I've done a lifted box thing, screwed in a couple of bits of wood so that... Uh, these boxes can slide left to right I think there's nine pairs of underpants in there and three pairs of socks in there and a lot of storage underneath so I uh, don't know what for but I've got the storage to fill up and this side this drawer got 
loads of t-shirts in there I think it's important with the vents there this drawer which is like a whale's tummy really I mean that just takes so much stuff in it so yeah I think the tip is I think what you really actually need to be putting on uh, or what you need and then build your storage around it because I think I'm at my limit now with clothing storage I'll never fill all this so uh, the plan for tonight is to test out the pull out bed because it's finished and can I do this one handed? And underneath, I've got the second mattress. I think you've seen this in a previous video, but that's the plan of attack for tonight. I'm going to see if I can sleep on that. And that cushion there will then go in there to fill that hole. And the good thing is, it's nearly wide enough so that you can sleep that way. I think I might try that at some point. But anyway, that's it for tonight. That's how far the van is. Next step, I think, is the ceiling to get rid of this aluminium look. But I really like that. <laughs> quirky, yes, but you've got to be quirky as we do this because uh, yeah, quirky. But I like it. Okay. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Leave a comment, Michael and Ben. And till next time.